Hey, what's up, Coin Hunters? Welcome to a search for the unbated 20 pence piece with me, Richie. Also, as always, we'll be keeping an eye out for anything that shouldn't be in here. So, anything from Jersey, Guernsey, Alaman, Gibraltar, um, any of them super cool places where they have, in my opinion, way cooler designs to their 20 pences than we do. So, at the moment, I am just picking out the obvious, obvious ones that I know won't be a shield or anything like that or the other um, thingy that we're looking for the uncirculated ones, so we are separating for them as well um, but yeah, plenty of little monsters we can find but it's just obviously getting lucky and finding them so let's just have a brown hole oh, there's two in a row for that is that gonna no that's can't have two in a row twice can we uh shield there so the shield is quite old now isn't it um i think it's time to be honest with you that we've had something Obviously new designs. It's not going to happen for a while because the amount of money that was spent um, developing the pound coin, but It would be nice it would be nice if we got some new stuff like a uh, the five P's could always celebrate British sport um, When it comes to like especially the sport that have like football can you imagine the 5p where it's just all just looks like a football uh, design or a tennis ball or cricket ball um, that would be pretty cool <laughs> um, what else uh, two pences what could we do with the two pences uh, we could do the um, creatures animals so like have the fox and Hedgehog and stuff on the two pencils, or even do like celebrate cities in the UK because it's always the capital cities, isn't it? It's always the capital cities, and I know I live in the capital city of the UK, but it would be nice to find, say, um, a coin that celebrates Birmingham and doesn't have to be. In my eyes, doesn't have to be a 50p. Doesn't have to be a um, five pound coin or a two pound coin. I think it would look quite nice in the copper, the copper colouring, you know, um, to see them type of uh, places celebrated in that way. Um, you could, yeah, like all the cities of the UK. That would be quite cool. Um, what else? Or when it comes to sport, imagine um, a 5p done in the style of Formula One, like the form, like a racing car wheel. That that design, just that simple, you know, with some writing as the um, date and stuff is like part of the tire. That would be pretty cool. So hopefully. Royal Mint, someone at the Royal Mint is like, yeah, that could work, but maybe not, and then they're going to say maybe not in the 5 piece because it's the size of it, but, are these, no, none of these are, are they all shields? Oh, one let me down when it comes to not being a shield, Ugh. right, but yeah, there's so much, you know, that we can do like I do like the um, Tudor Beasts that's actually pretty cool uh, designs on them um, I do like the um, Monarchs as well I like the idea that they're using the portrait of the actual original coins that they're recreating um, my only gripe with that is it should have been like I know they're doing it in just precious metals. Um, the Henry the Seventh, I think it was. 
was only precious metals and the amount of people that were complaining because that I think that would have sold pretty good that collection if it was just five pound coin um, with alongside the precious metals that would have been pretty cool you know um, to see them as well uh, what else what else what else what else what else designs do I like um, really like the Commonwealth Games design uh, would have been cool if we if they did it in the start of the Olympics as well that would have been pretty cool having all of the different sports for the Commonwealth Games as well on there on like their own coins um, is there anything else I've really liked. Wasn't a big fan when the year set came out of the Dame Vera Lynn coin. I think for me they could have done so much more with that coin. Um, you know, they could have done where she was singing at wartime in front of a crowd or something like that. You see some of the detailing on the American coins and you look at how. Um, the UK coins are and you think to yourself the US are doing such like intricate detailing compared to a lot of our coins like even the Queen 70 if coin that one could have had so much more like could you imagine the 70th they should have done a set yeah for the 70th anniversary of the Queen the one we got yeah that could have been at the top imagine like it's on the thing but then all her portraits like how they're doing with the uh, UK like the UK monarchs like have a set with all the different portraits in the 50 pences you know now that would have been lovely um, I know a lot of people probably would have bought that um, that would have been actually a nice set to have uh, what else could they have done they could have done like major parts of when during her reign you know like major events maybe on the on 50 pences from the reign of um, what happened during her reign All right who did that who colored the <laughs> with pink nail varnish it is pink nail varnish I think who did that? Own up. Right now. <laughs> it's 2007. Um, yeah, there is so much stuff they could have done that if I was more artistic, I would actually be making up designs and sending it to the Mint like on a daily basis. Some of the ideas that I do have. Um, there's just, there is so much that we can do and then all we're getting is we need a poo <laughs> you know and it's like come on man 90, 99% of your collectors out there like you go to a coin fair right and you see the odd kids with their dad and stuff but the they're all older people you go to the coin fairs especially in London and it's just you know it's older people and they seem to be just catering for younger collectors at the moment and I know we need like kids and stuff to carry on this thing, uh, hobby and collecting and all of that but yeah, I think like a series on steam trains as well would be quite nice. Like do a series about steam trains, uh, celebrating them or like the um, evolution of train travel in the UK. That would be pretty cool. And, you know, start the series off with steam trains and then move it on to diesel, then electric. You know. That'd be pretty cool, but 
it's not it's not a cute little cartoon character is it to be honest so they're not going to do it and like Wallace and Gromit we got one <laughs> queen of them and it's like yeah we're done uh, okay you're not going to do like the Gruffalo and then the Gruffalo the Gruffalo like <laughs> what was the real point of the Gruffalo it's not actually a set is it you never see like oh I got a set of two or I got a collection of two you know it's like come on guys if you're gonna do something do it right which is why they're never gonna sponsor my channel <laughs> I'll probably turn up at the Royal Mint experience and there'll be like security guards there nope you're not coming in mate right guys so we didn't find nothing in that hunt at all um, not unsurprisingly really but we do have all of these to go through in a, another video so guys thank you very very much for taking the time to watch this video I do appreciate it and I will see you in the next one so take care guys and happy coin hunting goodbye <laughs>